Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. This is a 16 by 20 canvas I did quite a while back and I don't really love it. I do love this part, but I don't love that part or here. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do three little pours just in those areas and see what happens and try to leave this existing strip here intact. We'll see if it works. I'm not sure. If you've never watched an acrylic pouring video before, I always try to do one color mixture just so you see how it's done. You can use any brand of acrylic paint and however you, much you mix, this is a three ounce bathroom cup. I've got probably about a half an ounce of paint. I'm going to do the same amount of Floetrol latex based. This is the quart. You can also get the gallon at Home Depot, Lowe's, that kind of place. Also on Amazon. If you don't have one of these local paint stores that, has, that carries it and you can't find it. So I wanted to mix up some orange. That's the one color I did not have. So you just use a stir stick and you make sure to scrape around your edges and really mix it good. And then you want it to come off your stick in a steady stream. This is a little too thick. Tube paints are thicker than craft bottle paints. This was a tube paint. So I'm going to add a little water to it. Stir it up again. But you want to mix your paint with your flow trowel, which extends it and makes it stay wet longer. Gives you more working time. That's why we add the paint conditioner to the paint. If you just added water, it would break it down eventually into just a watercolor mess. So using the flow trowel extends the paint and leaves the color and all still intact. So that's a really good consistency right there. So you want it to pour off your stick in a steady stream and land on the surface of your paint and kind of dissipate, just kind of go away. You don't want it to drip like water and you don't want it thick like peanut butter. I tell people the perfect consistency is comparable to melted ice cream. So I love to add OGX Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum. It's a very definite coconut milk product. You can't just use any coconut milk product. The main and the first ingredient in here is dimethicone. That is the magical ingredient. But when you pump it, it will put at least a teaspoon of product out and you don't need that much. So what I do is I transfer it to a squeeze bottle, a dropper bottle. And that way I can control one drop of, paint, of this OGX coming out into my paint. You only need one drop of OGX in your cup of color. Whether you have 3 ounces or 12 ounces, you only need one drop of OGX. That creates the beautiful cells. So that's that. It's mixed up. I'm ready to pour some paint into my cups. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to pour straight color. Some of these have sat for a while, so they're kind of th on the thicker side. But I'm just going to pour kind of straight down into the colors. I never use a lot of green because green will overtake a pour. I'm doing this for this particular area. I don't need a ton of paint. So I think, I think for this area that's about right. I'm going to flip it over and drag. That was probably not quite enough paint, but that is, it is what it is. I'm just trying this for the heck of it. 
I don't have, you know, this is a dry canvas. I've had it probably for a year. So the paint has been sitting here a while. Um, so I'm going to do a lot more in this, in these, two, or in these two cups, I'm going to put a lot more paint in. I've got a little bit of a deeper blue. I'm just going to put a bit of that in before I put in my regular blue. This time I'm going to do the red. Yellow. Green. Okay. So this has a totally different effect from this because I probably didn't have a lot of OGX or stuff to make cells in these in this strip. So it's going to look different. That's really pretty though. There's a party going on next door if you hear if you hear people shouting. I really do like that. And that's because I added the deeper blue and I put it in a different order. I almost feel like I need to kind of go over this one again. Let me mix up a little bit more orange. I'm going to start again. Used all the purple up. And then some of the deep blue. Bright blue. Red. Orange. Yellow. And green. So I really don't want that, but I'm just going to go right over it. I may, I may end up tilting on this whole canvas here.
So I have this big area of green and orange I'm not crazy about. I have this one area that I'm not crazy about, and I've got this beautiful violet color, which I did not use. I'm going to just pour some violet on, a little blue, a little red, an orange. It'll take me. Up. This is a spreader and just swipe through it. I'm going to see if I can tilt a bit, but I don't think that's going to work. But it might if I can just change the, the shape slightly. So it's just a bunch of color, but I like it better than I did on the first one. So sometimes you just got to play and experiment and just see what happens. It's a very colorful background. It can become a background for something or it can stay the way it is. Change this up somehow. So even if it's just continuing to add a little color to get rid of this unattractive area. All right, so here it is, just an explosion of color. It totally changed the look of the canvas for sure, <laughs> which was not my full intention, but I'm okay with it. So, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the links below the video where it says show more on your laptop or computer or the down arrow on your mobile device. Check out all the links and if you're a subscriber click on the bell on the bottom right and you'll get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks a bunch and I'll see you next time.